Hello YouTube people, this is Tracy again. This unit I'm doing a last and final update because I've also had this one about a year, if not longer, probably a year. And I bought, like I said, a lot of units and wore them a lot during that time before I just said, you know what, I'm just going to wear all blonde for a while. But before I did that, I was messing with this and anything close to it in color. All right, this is Otre's Lydia Dark Root Lace Front 30. Okay, she's looking a lot thicker than, like I said, than she was when I got her. All I wanted to show you guys is that I added just a little bit of hair to her to try to make her longer. I netted it down to there. And this hair was not a good choice. I took it from another wig and tried to curl it and didn't do as good of a job as I would have liked. Okay. The thing about this unit is that she was so tight on my head. She's still tight on my head. I don't even have a wig cap on. It's just my hair under here. And she was as tight as a drum. Uh, I felt she kind of made my forehead look a little big, but it, it don't look that bad. Okay. I felt she was very, very tight, but she kept her curls. Okay, I didn't lose the curls even though I wore it like six times. And that's a lot because I'll tell you guys, when I do this next video on my wig journey, I will tell you how many units I own. So you will know when I say I wore something six times or five times, there's a reason for that. Okay, but that's for another video. Alright, so yes, I did wear her. Uh, the thing that aggravated me the most was that the hair that I added didn't really curl you know, the way that I wanted it to, so I wound up having to take a little bit of that hair out and uh, worried about it showing and looking thin for the most part. Because other than that, I found this wig to be very boring uh, when I realized that it needed some length to make me happy. What's good about it is the way they did the, the curl and the color. The color is, is fabulous, of course, but that's about it. Um, I didn't have much tangling and shedding out of her, okay, I really didn't. Um, I don't think you have to wear her a lot to deal with that. Um, maybe some women do, depending on their activity level and what they're doing. My activity level is high. I work out every other day, and I usually have to wear a wig that I think isn't going to be too negatively affected by me running and walking and sweating. Okay, my battery is low. Okay, so anyway, uh, this is one of those units that I wore once when I was working out. To me, that's a good indicator of what wearing a wig is going to be like when you are wearing it and you're not working out. So, um, yeah, I had to deal with whatever happens to the bottom. I already tried to brush that out anyway, and my iPod is not going to show too much wear. If you saw this and saw me in person, then you could say, okay, you know, there's some wear to it. Because here is the hair that I tried to add, and it didn't come out so so good. So I just had to comb it and try to make it presentable. Other than that, this is a really nice unit. This is Otre's Lydia. Uh, I don't remember where I got her. I'm going to guess and say Hair Sisters. If you can find my original video, it might say Hair Sisters under there. Okay, because I think I was relying on them a lot last year and the year before. Alright, so this is one of the units on my hair journey. And I will be doing a video concerning all of that. Alright, so thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for rating and commenting and subscribing. Uh, any new subscribers, I'm saying hi to you already. And any subscribers that aren't new yet, that haven't come to my channel yet, come on. I don't want you waiting now. Come on. It's fun over here. Alright, thanks so much for watching. Bye.